Hello there guys, in this video we'll be continuing on the organelle series by making the lysosomes and the mitochondria. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so to pick up from where we left off, I made a few adjustments here actually. Um, I added a few more of the chromosomes, that's the first thing. And also I've kind of sharpened the edge right here. Uh, you can do that by going into edit mode by pressing tab and then, and then holding alt to select these two edges then press shift e then you can kind of drag this to adjust like the sharpness of like the edge so that's a thing it's optional it's up to you if you want to do it or not so yeah okay so now let's actually begin with the first part which is the lysosomes let's duplicate this right here we're going to be using this Let's go into front view and going into edit mode by pressing tab, then turn on the x-ray thing right here. Then you want to press uh, three to go into face select right here. Drag select the top half right here and then just delete the faces. There you go. And then you can just select this uh, loop right here in edit mode and then kind of extruding it up like this and then scaling it inwards then once you've done that you can like sharpen it if you want uh, so you press shift d now, i'm not going to completely sharpen it like this like make it like sharp because i feel like it's a little bit too sharp <laughs> I, I want it to be a little bit smooth right here so something like this is pretty good let's shade smooth it and go to the modifiers properties and i'm going to give it a couple more th like thickness because I just feel like that's that's a little bit better. Then after that, you can just scale it down and then kind of move it down to like here. Then you can put like a couple wherever you want. So um, I'm gonna put this one right here first. Then I'm going to press this like a uh, duplicate button. Then I'm going to change the color to whatever color I want. It's up to you what color you want to set it, but for like the thing that I did, I kind of went with like a turquoise, but it's more inclined to blue. So like something like this is is what I did. So, I mean, it's up to you, but I guess, yeah, that's what I did. And I'm gonna duplicate this again, and I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna put one right here. I'm going to put another one right here. You can feel free to like rotate rotate it or something like that so it doesn't look too like uniform or something like that. So that's good. Now next let's start off with uh, the mitochondria. So I'm going to go to top view. Then I'm going to duplicate this guy right here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have this thing, right? And you want to select uh this edge in the middle so hold alt like this and hold the other one like this you see kind of like this and you want to just press ctrl b and you just want to bevel it a little bit like this as you can see and then go to um x-ray view <laughs> x-ray mode uh, whatever it's called and press uh, three right here and then you want to select this part. You don't want the part in the middle, just the right half without without the middle line thing. And uh, you want to turn off proportional edit if it's on. And you want to kind of just drag it like that, as you can see. So that's pretty good. Then you can just bevel, not bevel, you can uh, loop cut right here by a lot. Something like this, so it kind of matches the thing over here then you can hold alt and select like these edges and press o and you can just um let's go back into top view you can now um like move it around and stuff and make it a little bit more like distorted and natural <laughs> kind of like this okay then uh let's duplicate this again and i'm going to make the color like orangish yellow kind of thing like this i think that's pretty good the next we just have to do the wiggly thing inside of it so i'm going to um, add a 
circle. Where's circle? Where's the circle? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to move it up and scale it down. And put it right here. Okay. So we're going to be kind of using this circle to do the wiggly thing. So what you're going to do is go into edit mode and go into vertex select. Then we're kind of going to do the same thing we did with the, the mitochondria shell thing. We're going to select these two edges, but this time instead of just beveling with control B, you want to press control shift B since uh, it's a vertex instead of a edge or a face or whatever. So um, with this, you can kind of, uh, hold on, let, let's turn off proportional edit. With this, you can again, move this out like this. So that's pretty good. Then uh, you're going to select these two edges and then subdivide it. That's too much. Yeah, something like this until you're like kind of satisfied with it. Then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna duplicate this now. Again and again, until it kind of fills the whole thing. Kind of like this, yeah, I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to um, select like, for example, these guys. I'm just gonna delete the vertices. Then I'm going to kind of merge these guys at the center. I can also, um, I'm gonna actually extrude this and then merge it. Oh wait, hold on. Merge it at last. So it's more like, more of like something like this. It's gonna look really like linear and not like wiggly and natural, but we, we can fix that later, I think. So um, let's delete these guys. Merge at uh, center and move it something like this. Extrude, merge at last. And we're just gonna keep repeating this process, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay. There we go. So we kind of have this wiggly thing, the whole thing. And um, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn on proportional edit and click right here and make sure that connected only is uh, turned on. So when you're adjusting like parts like this, it doesn't completely like affect the surrounding parts. Like that is not connected as you can see, as it, as it says in the name, I guess. And now you can kind of just go around and like tweaking its like geometry to look more like again natural and not like completely like lin linear or something like that. So just, you know, go ahead and <laughs> do the thing. So I think something like this is pretty good. Um, it's not it's, it's not perfect. It's actually not done yet. We we still have to do this part, but it's it's not like completely like um, smooth. But I think it gets the point. We just need to fix one more spot, which I just mentioned earlier. Are these like edges right here? So you can just select them and right click and subdivide. So you can kind of fix, oh, I'm gonna turn proportional edit off. So it's kind of more like smooth out, smooth out or something like that, which is pretty good. Actually, let me fix this part a little bit. I think it looks too um, unnatural.
So I think this is mainly like mostly freestyle, so it's kind of up to you on how it's gonna turn out. This is more like a guideline of what you can kind of do. And so now we've had this like shape. You can actually like use like a vector program if you have one, kind of draw it and then import it as well. Maybe I could do that in a future video. But anyways, um, back to the point, we're going to go into edit mode and select the whole thing. Then you're going to extrude it downwards like this. And as you can see, it's going out a little bit. So what you're gonna do is scale it down a little bit like this. So that's good. So let me scale it down like that. Make sure no parts is like touching the walls or whatever. And you're just gonna press F and then press Control T to triangulate all these guys. Then next, you're going to uh, go to the modifiers properties and add a decimate modifier and then kind of collapse the whole thing to make it look like really simple and apply it. So we have like this simple geometry instead of that complicated one so we can kind of subdivision surface it and then apply it so it, you kind of have a slightly more cleaner geometry to work with I think. Then uh, what you can do is you can add a solidify modifier right here. Now, uh, as you can see, when you've increased the thickness, some parts uh, grow in parts that you don't want to grow. That's because um, the orientation is not correct. So let's go into edit mode, see? And then uh, let me turn the x-ray off. And you want to click right here on this uh, button and you want to go to check on face orientation. Basically, um, the blue ex like basically shows that it's outside and red if you go into like a shape or something you see that red it, it shows the inside now because of whatever like technique that we did earlier uh, it kind of messed up the orientation of the faces so it's kind of messed up as you can see so to fix that you're going to go into edit mode select everything and then press alt n then press uh, recalculate outside once you do that the the, uh, the orientation of the faces will be kind of recalculated and fixed and we can uh, go here and turn off face orientation and we can uh, actually use the solidify modifier properly which is good so you can just give it a thickness in the inside and kind of subdivision surface it like this then just give it a shade auto smooth and then uh, lastly you can just give it a new material and i'm gonna make it like yellowish kind of like this that's good and i'm gonna duplicate one and rotate it by 90 degrees move it over here And something like this so that's what we've got for today's video so um, yeah that's it and in the next video we'll be doing the Golgi apparatus and the hold on, <laughs> hold on what is it called the endoplasmic reticulum oh wait no endoplasmatic reticulum basically the, the part around the nucleus like right here so um yeah, uh, I've been a little bit like gone. Uh, it was mainly because of the exam, but um, I'm done with it. And again, uh, I don't know how many times I said this, but hopefully I'm back and I'll be consistent, uh, consistently uploading videos. So anyways, that's it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.